when I met some people that were doing film and yeah, we just started working together from there. Uh, my first feature film was called Inklantla, which I wrote and produced. Um, it was a 90 minute long production, uh, shot on a very low budget and um, it premiered at the Bulawayo Theatre uh, and had an audience of about 318 people, which was, I mean, which was a good thing by then because it was one of the first um, ever red carpet events in the city of Kings. Um, my next production was another feature film which was called Fool's Paradise. Uh, Fool's Paradise was done in 2015, um, but it was a challenge during the production because we did not have equipment of our own, so you'd find that sometimes you would shoot using a specific camera and then the next time when you go back to the guys that uh, supply equipment you'd get a different camera so hence the production was done but we did not release it to the audience because it had different um, picture qualities um, but it was it was a learning curve and a learning experience then along uh, during that time i also started doing children's books and my first children's book was called the river god nyami nyami the reason why i ventured into children's books was because i realized that um, we did not have the right budget to make a production such as the such as that um, because we would need to maybe for example uh, capture yami yami in the water and you would have to be speaking so it was something that we couldn't do at that time and um, we didn't have the right equipment of course now there are things like green screen and things like that it can happen with a slightly you know reasonable budget but in order to to capture something that will, I mean, that will be seen by audiences worldwide, you need to, you know, have a slightly reasonable budget and good equipment and people that are well skilled in um, doing such scenes uh, because you're competing with other productions and, um, for example, the uh, the story of Yami Yami um, is a bit complicated because I decided to turn it, like to turn Yami Yami into a superhero. So you cannot compete and have you can you cannot compete with the international productions and have a superhero. I mean that can't fly, for example. <laughs> so yeah, uh, hence that's how I started doing children's books. So I've done several other ones, including a publication, um, including a, a story that was publi published in a anthology in Germany. Um, it was it was quite a huge thing, so that showed me that with I mean perseverance and good work and consistency, um, I mean one can go quite far. So I also then did other productions like a TV show and the children's educational uh, pro uh, program, which also had a bit of stop motion animation and 2D animation. But as you know, 2D animation I mean has been overtaken by 3D and things like that. So it, it still takes us back to why I was doing children's books. So I hope in the near future to do productions um, that will be seen worldwide and that will talk about Africa and um, Zimbabwe and um, that people can relate with, people can watch and enjoy and I mean, get to learn more about the African culture.